Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and we are continuing on our journey of going through my pickups for the most recent Yeezy day. These are the Yeezy Boost 700 V2s in the Tefra colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Today we'll be taking a look at the Yeezy Boost 700 V2 Tefras. For those of you who took W's on this this past week, congrats to all of you. I was unable to unfortunately get these when they originally released. So I was really excited that they were gonna be re-releasing this colorway just because I personally think that this is one of the best color schemes for the Yeezy Boost 700 V2 silhouette. So we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, then we'll talk about how I styled this really cool color blocking of gray hues, and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. So one of the things I love is that they decided to really transition different types of gray hues all throughout the upper on the different textures. So you've got some nice overlays of this Nubox suede and a lighter gray underlays of different hues of gray. And then the laces are in a heather gray underneath the entirety of this tongue is more like a cement gray tone. And behind that, it's almost like a subtle light heather gray on the interior as well to match the laces. Let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around to the side paneling, this is where we're getting some darker shades of gray underneath here. You're also seeing on the stripes on the side. The back also has that same darker tone of gray. And then we've got some nice tumbled leather textures as well intermixed. As we wrap around to the lateral side, you've got the same exact color blocking there and the interior is fully colored in a very light gray. And then the Yeezy and Adidas branding is in white. When we wrap down and work our way down to the bottom of the midsole. This is where we're getting pretty much all charcoal gray throughout. Then even a darker shade of gray here on the back. Uh, the sneakers then completed with this gum bottom, which I really think makes this sneaker a perfect color combination with that beautiful gum bottom. I think it would have been weird, honestly, if they would have selected a gray hue for the bottom of the outsole. So I love that they went with this color just to have some separation. And then underneath you can see the full length boost. All right, let's take a look at all of those details.
As far as size and fit goes, for the Yeezy Boost 700 V2 silhouette, I actually just only go half a size up. So depending on what Yeezy silhouette, it always differs. But for this one, half a size up is definitely necessary. My first time getting the silhouette, I went uh, just true size and it was way too small. Uh, so highly recommend going up in these. I do have higher arch narrow feet, so do take that into consideration when deciding on what size range will work best for you. All right, so as far as styling goes, this is a really easy to style colorway, which is originally why I really wanted it when it first released. Uh, so for the first look, I decided to go monochromatic with a cement colored button down sheer top with a matching pair of wide legged pants. I can't shake it. For the second look, I decided to wear some rhinestone dark charcoal gray denim pants. And then with the top, I wore just a cropped heather gray crew neck. I can't shake it just like a dog in the heat. This feeling the mind probably resides deep as the sea. I'm leaving tomorrow morning soon as the sun coming up. Drop my bags at the front door, screaming like, what the fuck? I'm meeting you now, not giving up now. Treat you like Valentine, taking this heart of mine for granted. Said we was never going down. Now I'm singing on the Titanic. She said it's gonna be the panic, but. And then for the last and final look, decided to dress up a little bit with some color. Definitely don't feel like you have to stick with gray on this color combination. I feel like wearing bright colors, especially since it is the summertime, you can definitely incorporate that. So I did that with a pop of orange on a linen maxi dress. honestly going crazy uh, during COVID. So the price point on these was pretty insane. They were around like four to 600 for some period of time. But obviously, since this was a re-release, a little bit less than what they used to be in the past. But these retailed at 260 and they're currently going between 280 and 350 on the higher end of things. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all on the next episode. Oh, if you're living in